Hello everyone, Jen here, Director of Christian Education at First United Methodist Church. And as you know, while we are sheltering in place to be safe, we are talking to different members of our congregation. And today um, I have another guest who is willing to chat. So why don't you go ahead and introduce yourself and tell us a little bit about what you do at our church. Okay, I'm Tim Speller. And I normally go to the 9.30 service uh, and normally do custodial a couple nights a week and also landscaping, uh, but now I'm just doing landscaping. All right, very good. And who have you been sheltering in place with, Tim? Um, anyone at home, pets, family? Yes, my wife is here and my puppy dog, Kobe. All right. And what would a normal day look like from, you know, morning to evening look like for you if we weren't in this crisis? So uh, if we weren't doing this, you know, I would uh, uh, be taking a walk first thing in the morning with uh, Kobe and, and, um, and maybe going over to the church and working a little bit on the landscaping, depending upon the temperature. Um, but uh, since, since we've had this change, I pretty much, uh, unless it's raining or really hot, uh, uh, after the walk with Kobe, go over every day. Um, it gives me something to do, and um, with all the rains, uh, it's been busy with the flowers and the weeds, and uh, so uh, I enjoy getting out a little bit and uh, spending time over there and uh, uh, from time to time get to see folks stop by the office or something like that. All right and what has this time like been for you and your family and your dog? What has given you guys hope during this time amidst all the news and updates? What has given you guys hope and kept you going? Yeah, I don't uh, I think uh, very, uh, very lucky to know that no one really close to me um, or family or family in uh, Illinois um, has the virus. So very happy about that. Um, and also uh, just, uh, just wonderful people from uh, the community and, um, and from the church. Um, a homeless man stopped by the church last week and he spent about 45 minutes walking around the property and he came back to me and said, this is such a large complex and what a wonderful job you do taking care of it. And uh, was very, very nice. And uh, this weekend, a couple of neighbors noticed that the weeds were getting bad out on the island in the street by one of our entrances. And um, so I saw them out there on Saturday working on the weeds and I went out there to thank them and uh, told them that I would spray where the weeds were as soon as they got them pulled. And so they worked on those on Saturday and Sunday both. And then I, I sprayed them as soon as they were done. And um, it was, uh, you know, of course kept our masks on and kept our distance but uh, it was very nice to see them and meet them and um, uh, thank them you know for making things look better and they did the same thing uh, thanking me for doing a good job at the church so very nice people and uh, very kind yes it's amazing how um, people find ways to just keep going and help in different ways. Maybe if that they didn't, couldn't help in before because they were commuting or traveling. So it's nice to hear how, you know, parts of the community just come together to beautify as you've shared, as you've shared right now. Yeah, I, uh, you know, things are different, of course. Um, you know, my doctor's visits are different uh, on, online or on telephone now. Uh, but my two uh, most favorite young uh, doctors um, are both uh, very good friends, and they are both pregnant with little girls. Aww. So uh, very happy to learn that last week. 
Yeah, absolutely. And prayers for them that they stay healthy during yes. this crisis. Yes. So anything you'd like to share with our church family? Anything you'd like to lift up in prayer? You know, I was a little bit disappointed Saturday because it was uh, it was to be our scheduled day for our um, work and service day at church. And uh, Thrivent usually helps us to sponsor that. And so, you know, we're going to have to come up with another day. We usually try and do two. So we will have uh, probably two a little bit closer together this year. Um, look forward to seeing everyone there and, um, you know, enjoying time with them, whether they can work or whether they can't work. They can come and enjoy some lunch with us and breakfast and uh, um, just excited for that day to come again when we can be together in however however the manner will be that we can do that and uh um just excited to see folks again um from the church uh that is one of my favorite things this is uh the bulk of my family um my extended family is uh in illinois and japan and so this is my family that's close by. All right. Well, thank you so much for the continued work you do to keep our campus um, in shape. And thanks to the team that you work with who, you know, haven't stopped um, checking in to make sure things are working properly and nothing is going um, broke or broke becoming broken as a result of people not being there. So thank you. Um, and yeah, and I want to thank you. I want to thank you and all the other staff for the wonderful digital messages that we've been receiving, the church services, the the morning uh, message from Pastor Brian, um, and uh, and uh, Brian Cox and Ariana working behind the scenes to keep things going. Um, I know everyone's working really hard, and I really appreciate it. All right, thank you so much, Tim. Blessings to okay. you today. Bye, everyone. Bye.